Hey, in Fox Weather is your Hurricane HQ, and guess what? El Nino conditions officially present. This after three years of La Nina. In fact, there's about a 56% chance of it becoming a strong El Nino. So what are we talking about here? What you're looking at is the sea surface temperature departure, and we want these waters for an El Nino to be warmer than average. In fact, it needs to be about 0.5 degrees Celsius warmer or 0.9 degrees farmer, warmer rather than the long-term average, and that has happened. Now, it was really really warm to begin with right off of the South African coast, those zones one and two, right? Those regions. Then you look at region three right along the Pacific, even just south of Hawaii. We were watching that closely. They were starting to warm up. They weren't quite at that level. Now they are. So that gets one check mark off for us. Also, this is expected to remain the story for the next few months. Check that off. Another reason we have El Nino. Also, we're also dealing with different changes in the wind patterns. And that's also going to be something we've got to watch. And because of that, we'll also check that off. Meantime, when we look at this, how does this affect the season historically? Well, for hurricanes, all the way from Florida to throughout the East Coast, we have about 50 percent fewer hurricanes from Alabama to Texas, about 33 percent fewer. Category three or stronger, those big storms, about 80% fewer right along the Florida and East Coast and slightly fewer all the way from Alabama to Texas. Now, here's what's going on. We've got all the warm water over the Pacific. All of that air starts to rise. The flow, the circulation starts to change when this happens as well. It's one of those check marks we just talked about. And that creates some hostile upper level winds right over portions of the Atlantic and over into the Gulf. Now, that is going to, if it happens, you got those strong winds. If a storm develops in this area, those winds tend to shred these storms apart. It doesn't let the storm stack on top of each other like you'd like it to see nice and stacked like pancakes. That doesn't happen either. And then that does inhibit some of the development as well or pulls them apart. It's pretty warm over the Atlantic as well. So we're probably going to have uh, many waves coming off in this area. That'll be an area to watch as well. Meantime, remember, Fox Weather's your Hurricane HQ. And as we look into the season ahead, it looks like numbers are pretty close to in some cases, the average over the over the history of the hurricane season. This is for the Atlantic Basin as well. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.